some of the best of the best pros and people who are really good at the game understand this mechanic really well. Understanding how to pre-fire or bait someone is one of the best things to learn in Fortnite. Besides exploiting in someone's box, this is the fastest way to get damage on someone. In this video, I'm going to go over the clips I had from stream where I tried to pre-fire and bait people in all my arena fights. I'm going to try and cover optimal and non-optimal times to try and do this move, as well as small little tips and tricks that you're going to learn for arena. Do me a favor and use code KEMBEADS in the item shop if you want to support these videos. Without further ado let's hop in all right to start this off i'm gonna quickly rapid fire as many tips and tricks i know about baiting so that way you guys can get some out of the video right now when you're weak and on the run this might be one of the best times to bait someone if they know you're almost one shot or you are one shot they're gonna do whatever they can and might even slip up in the process maybe they run through your builds or do something that you can catch them off guard in. kind of running away while you're weak can lead the enemy into your tarp and that way you'll have full control on them and maybe get a kill or a shot that way sometimes the basic stuff really does work though what i found myself doing on stream was walking up to someone's box and acting like I didn't know what was going on. So for example, I would walk up to someone's box and start farming a wall or some mat to the left of me. That way I would kind of trick this guy into thinking I wasn't paying attention to him. A really good way to bait someone to open up an edit is to fake take out your pickaxe. This is a pretty well-known tip in the community, I'd say, especially among the better players. But all it entails is just running up to someone's box, hitting it quickly, and then quickly switching back to your shotgun. That way you're getting ready for them to make an edit. This is what I call testing the waters and seeing how antsy the other player is. If you can get two swings on someone's wall, that probably means this guy is playing really passive. A lot of times, the second you swing on a wall, you're going to have that guy open up and try and take a shot on you. Throughout my time on stream, I had a lot of fights that were really long and drawn out. That's kind of like the average arena fight nowadays. One thing I learned is that if you're ever getting someone weak, and let's say you crack them or get them below like 100 health, if you're the aggressor and they're the one in the box, any simple tactic I just mentioned will probably work. People who are on the verge of dying are extremely antsy and think that everything they do is going to take you off guard. Remember that trying to bait people is more of an advanced move because it's not as simple as you think. It really does require patience and a lot of experience to know when someone's going to open up an edit and when someone's not. One of the best things I learned was to try and read people whenever they're in a box. You can look at someone inside or behind a wall whenever they're about to take their map out to make an edit. Usually when someone's walking forward and has their map out, they're about to do something. Remember that whenever you're fighting someone to not get too close to their box. When you're trying to pre-fire or bait someone, you don't want them jumping at you. You want to be at a safe distance where you know you're going to get some chip damage or get that beginner shot in the fight that's going to help you win. If you're starting to gain a lot of peace control on someone, be really patient with the guy because you don't want him rushing and one pumping you. I've had this happen a lot in my game. So really quick recap. Make sure you keep your distance. Remember that when you're on the run and you're weak, this might be a good time to use yourself as bait to get a shot on someone to even the playing field a little bit. Vice versa, when you get someone weak, just remember that since you watched this video, now you know that a lot of people who are weak are going to be really jumpy and look to one pump you. The best thing to do is to try and keep your distance as much as possible because if you trade shots and you have more health, you're going to be the one that's going to come out on top. And then the tip about doing something else to make it seem like you're not paying attention to the player. That way they come out the box and you can hit them with a shot. Let's hop into the next portion of the video where I show you real game examples of exactly what I'm talking about. And I walk you through how I was baiting some people. What you're going to see me do a lot of the times is kind of get on a corner angle here, get multiple walls really, really weak. And then I'll just really focus on spraying one wall and track the guy the entire time I'm spraying through it. Doing this sort of baiting motion where you tap fire walls a lot is the best way to bait people to try and expose themselves so you could shoot them. A lot of times this might trigger a 50-50, but I do this really often. Once I got this player whited, I knew that I had the upper hand here. So since I got a P90, I'm using that to my advantage while keeping my distance. Whenever someone builds out a metal, I know that I can break it really easily as long as I just tap fire it and spray it a little bit. Since this guy was weak, I knew he was going to be antsy and try and go for some crazy shots. So like I said, I kept my distance, sprayed him through the wall and kind of tap fired him up and got the kill. That's the stuff that I'm talking about in these fights. I said in creative that I spray multiple walls, but sometimes it can just be one wall like this. This right here is exactly why I'm telling you not to get too close. Every little thing I do or every small edit I make, I constantly back up and be prepared for this guy to charge at me. I'm starting to learn from my mistakes and this is one of them. Besides whipping my shot, I played this really good. So like I said, I'm tap firing up his wall, getting it weak for me to try and replace it. Once I feel that it's pretty weak, I run up to it and try and axe it with my pickaxe to try and take it. Then I do this little strat where I drop down on the stair and then jump up and grab the wall. And this is a really good box fighting strat. Nine times out of 10, I usually get that floor up top, but he was expecting it since it was weak. I read this guy like a book because I was able to see his map out as he was moving forward. This is the definition of reading people and baiting people. If you can time this just right, you'll be able to get a shot and block yourself by placing a wall just like I did here. If I would have hit that second shotgun shot, it would have been a really good clip. 
Here you can see this same kind of move that I'm talking about with the spraying action. I'm further than a box away and I'm spraying at this guy's wall to make him a little nervous. Then I kind of get tired of this BS and I roll up to his wall and just snag it. It's all about reading the situation and this is just a way of practicing. The more fights you get into, the more you're going to realize when and when not to get close to someone. So once I got in there, I immediately took the wall, dropped the cone, boom, shot, dead. You might not necessarily call this baiting or pre-firing someone, but that's how it originally started out and this is a realistic example of what could happen in a real game when you're trying to do stuff like this. When I get this first big shot in this guy, that's when I start pushing and get aggro with my spray weapon. As you can see, I'm trying to pre-fire people, but I don't want them to sit there and be comfortable in their box, so I'm putting pressure on them. I'm forcing them to go out of their comfort zone to make a move or do something different. The second I drop down this guy's wall and I try and exploit through it, I miss the whole thing. So instead of panicking, what I do is back up, and since this wall is weak and I know I'll be able to get it on the second try, what I do is back up and make it seem like I'm going to be doing something else. Maybe I'm just going to try and go for a normal wall replace. If you watch carefully, you could see when this guy takes his map out. That's the second I knew I had to jump in because he wasn't expecting it. So I jump in, boom, and I'm in his head, instant kill. It's all about these small mind games as you're fighting someone to really get the upper hand like that. The average person probably would have missed the first time and just jumped right in a second time and got back. There's lots of different ways to try and bait people, as we've kind of seen in this video. This build fight is very, very common in all my fights throughout Arena. The second someone gets shot and they start cranking the height, this is what happens almost all the time. Notice how I tried to fake this guy out and bait him a little bit. Some people might have started hacking all the builds to try and break him down. I've died enough times to realize that breaking one build is just enough to try and get them to peak and overshoot themselves. Little do you know, the second I break one stair, this guy comes flying down. I was expecting it, hit him with a shot, edited him down, got the kill. Just remember that these little experience tips are really important. You learn all these throughout watching my videos, I promise you're going to get cracked. I'm not even kidding. Watching these tips and tricks, YouTubers, is really going to help your game as long as you're studying them and not just blatantly watching. Actively try and learn this stuff. The main reason why I'm going crazy with walking people through my mindset is to really help them fully understand exactly what I'm thinking so that they can replicate it themselves and try and get a kill or do well in arena. I got to a point in stream where I was literally going crazy and I couldn't get anyone to peek me. So essentially, this is one of the most basic ways to get some to peek you. Just walk in front of their wall with your shoddy out and make sure you're semi behind cover. If you know someone's really weak, a lot of times you can still shoot them even if they're doing some sort of peanut butter edit. So that's probably one of the easiest ways to try and get someone to peek. Even when they're not that weak, you can see how I killed this Travis Scott skin that some people's peanut butter edits are just not that good. A lot of times you're put in this situation, they overexpose themselves, so just be prepared to shoot them in the head. This right here was the clip that I was talking about where I faked the guy out to make him think that I wasn't paying attention to him when realistically I was trying to bait him to come outside of his box. So I got no mats, I was trying to make a play, and all I did was just farm the wall to the left of me. And then the second I did that, I knew that that guy was going to try and make a move because he thought I wasn't doing anything. Then he came over here, got pumped hard, and then I got rolled by the next third party. But that strat about not paying attention to someone to get them to open up an edit really does work. A lot of times you see pro players doing this by doing fancy clips where they just turn around while they're box fighting someone, where their back is turned to the enemy. That way the enemy opens up and they do some sort of move where they launch inside the box and get a nice pump shot. It's almost the same kind of thing. The last thing I want to cover is this low ground type bait. This is how you get people to peek when they're in high ground. You kind of just over peek a little bit, but you're hugging the closest wall to you. So they have to really over peek to get a shot on you. This is how I was able to get such a heavy damage shot from that far away when that guy was on high ground. You need to make sure that you do this, but you're able to place a build right afterwards. So you don't take damage back. Quick heads up. I'm going to be doing more streams where I get clips to put in my YouTube videos on Twitch. Link down below. Been live streaming over there for like three years now. If you got any questions, want to watch a scary game or want to chill, feel free to stop by. 100K coming soon, by the way. I got a dope video coming for that. I'm also going to be doing a setup tour coming soon. Shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code KenBeans. I appreciate you guys more than you know. It really does help me out. And you guys know the deal by now. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or a good night. Deuces, everyone. Peace.